Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been buzzing around the tech community lately, the Apple Vision Pro headset. And you've probably heard the hype surrounding its release, but there's a bit of a twist because it seems like quite a few people are actually returning it. So what's the deal here? Why are people saying thanks, but no thanks to this pricey $3,500 piece of tech? Well, stick around and see why just 14 days later, Apple is giving a ton of people their money back and losing an estimated $140 million off the revenue of this device. Now, since Apple unleashed the Apple Vision Pro about two weeks ago on February 2nd, the clock has been ticking for early buyers. And with Apple's return policy offering a 14-day window, folks are making decisions fast. While we don't have the precise visions on the return rate from Apple, it is clear that there's a diverse range of opinions out there. Some are singing praises while others are reaching for the return label. So why the divide? Well, here are the most common complaints buzzing around Reddit about the Apple Vision Pro. First off, we've got the issue of the light seal fit. I mean, think about it. You're supposed to be diving into the immersive world of VR, having fun, and then you're interrupted by discomfort or even headaches caused by a poorly fit light seal. Users report feeling like they're watching a movie through binoculars with pesky light leaks ruining the experience. But fret not because there are potential fixes. For example, swapping out the light seal for a better fitting one. Apple offers various sizes and variants to cater to different face shapes and sizes. So finding the right fit could be as easy as swapping it out with Apple and the key to unlock a more comfortable VR experience. So next on our list is eye strain, a real pain in the well, eyes. Some users are experiencing eye soreness and fatigue, especially during extended use of the Apple Vision Pro. But the issue might improve over time as users acclimate to the device. But it's still a significant factor driving those return requests. The intense focus required for eye tracking and navigation in the digital realm can also take its toll on even the most resilient of peepers. So if you're planning on trying out this piece and going into the world of VR, be prepared to give those eyes a break every now and then. Now let's talk about the weight. The Vision Pro isn't exactly known for its featherweight design. Clocking in between 21.2 and 22.9 ounces, this headset packs quite a punch. Now to put it into perspective, that's like strapping on three iPhone 15 Pro Maxes stacked on top of each other. Ouch. Some users are finding it too heavy for prolonged wear with reports of discomfort and strain after just a short stint in the VR world, while some have resorted to 3D printing modifications to distribute the weight more evenly. Others are simply opting to hit the return button and bid adieu to the heavyweight champion of headsets. And now let's address the elephant in the room here technological limitations. While the Apple Vision Pro is undoubtedly a revolutionary device, it's not without its flaws. Users are reporting issues with text rendering and performance, particularly when compared to other Apple products like Retina displays. It's like trying to watch a blockbuster movie on an old school TV. The experience just doesn't quite measure up. For a device marketed as a game changer in the world of VR, these technologies logical hiccups are leaving some users feeling underwhelmed and dare we say a tad disappointed. Another reasons for the return, now that we've covered some common complaints buzzing around Reddit, let's dive into some additional reasons people are bidding farewell. First up, we've got the issue of social isolation. So picture this, you slip on your Vision Pro headset, immersing yourself in the world of VR. Sounds pretty cool, right? Well, not so fast because while the immersive experience can be a mind-blowing change for the wearer, it can also be pretty darn lonely. So think of it like putting on a pair of noise-canceling headphones. Once they're on, you're in your own little world, completely disconnected from those around you. Sure, there's potential for meaningful connections and interactions in the virtual realm, but for now, it's really a bit like 
shutting into the void. Next on our list is, of course, the very expensive price tag. Now, let's face it, the Vision Pro doesn't come cheap with a price tag of $3,500 before accessories. It's a significant investment for even the most enthusiastic of early adopters. And that's not even factoring in the cost of accessories, Apple Care Plus, and taxes, which can easily push the total bill over the $4,000 mark. While some folks were willing to shell out a big buck for a piece of cutting edge tech, others are finding it increasingly difficult to justify this expense, especially after the initial hype wears off. Last but not least, there are the issues of temporary use. Some users simply bought the Vision Pro with the intention of returning it after the test drive, a sort of try before you buy approach. And with Apple's generous return policy, who can blame them? After all, why commit to a $3,500 investment when you can give it a whirl for a couple of weeks and then send it back no questions asked? It's a tempting proposition for sure, and one that's likely contributing to the steady stream of return requests flooding Apple's inbox. From fit issues and eye strain to weight woes and technological limitations, it's clear that the Apple Vision Pro isn't without its challenges. While the Vision Pro may have its drawbacks, it's important to remember that it's also a testament to the incredible strides being made in the world of VR. With each new iteration, we're getting much closer to unlocking the full potential of this groundbreaking technology, and that's something worth celebrating. So whether you're a diehard fan or a skeptical observer, the one thing for sure is the journey is far from over and as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in the world of VR who knows what amazing innovations lie just around the corner but for now let's raise a glass to all the users of the Apple Vision Pro and the people that bought the Vision Pro for $3,500 with the intention of returning it just to try it out and give it a chance um, and now that you've heard the ins and outs and why people are returning the Apple Vision Pro we we want to hear from you. So what's your take on the matter? Are you a proud owner of the Vision Pro or are you on the fence about taking the plunge? Maybe you've got some tips and tricks to improving your VR experience that you'd like to share with the community. Thank you so much for watching and as always have a fantastic day.